last action that we need to take. So we have created our performance groups. Now we need to set them goals. So let's go through goals and how we can set them. So basically, uh, in order to set a goal, you can just click the edit pen icon here. And when you click on it, you're able to update the related performance groups goal. So there are five types of goals. The first one is cost per month. So firmly based on your cost per month uh, goal, so let's say it's 300 euros or 500 euros, our algorithm maximizes the results that you get. So if you have conversions defined in your account, if you have a shopping uh, campaign, or if you have conversions that convert that, that users convert through by some action on your website, then it maximizes the number of conversions that you get. If you don't have any conversions defined, then it maximizes the clicks that you get from these campaigns. So actually it's just getting the most out of your budget. So this is the main thing that it seeks. The second thing is cost per conversion. So sometimes your cost per conversion might be too high and you might want to you know, uh, decrease it a little bit. So for those cases, you can set cost per conversion goal and then you can specify a value and the algorithm tries to lower your cost per conversion to target, to, to hit this uh, target goal. The third one is ROI. Basically, we based on your ROI targets, we try to uh, reach to that uh, return on investment or ROAS, you know, return of ad spend. And the fourth one is ACOS. In Google, it's CRR, and it's basically advertising cost of sale. And you can also set an ACOS goal here easily for your performance groups. And the last one is autopilot. So this is a bit more advanced. Uh, if you share your profit values with Adspert platform, then Adspert does profit maximization. So basically we try to maximize your profit on all the actions, all the optimization actions that we take. And it just increases and maximizes your profit from your campaigns. And these are the goals. Uh, our suggestion for beginners is the cost per month goal because it's super easy to uh, super easy to set and super easy to manage and maintain so our suggestion is in the beginning going with cost per month goal and limiting your cost per month for different performance groups based on your internal goals and budgets and moving forward when you learn more about the product and when you experience about the optimization more then you can of course uh, try other goals as well and of course goals are not something that you set once and they're there indefinitely it's not. You can just come here, edit it, and then uh, change your goal easily and see how it goes as well. But you shouldn't do it every day. Rather, you need to wait a couple of weeks for you to see the results from a goal. And that's it. If you have any questions setting your goals, you can simply reach out to us or check the knowledge base. Bye.